is our light position now needs to come out of that portrait mindset of Rembrandt above 45 and in front. And we would want to move it behind and then behind and above. And as we move that light behind and above, we still want it above so the shadow comes downward. But what that does now is that it produces the shadow falling towards the camera. That gives our plate, our item, whatever that item may be, it grounds it, right? It gives it a place to sit in space. It creates depth and roundness and texture. All the things we want to create when we're doing a portrait, right? So when we sh but remember, the big part of this is shifting that axis, knowing now where the shadow placement is. That becomes so critical in this type of photography versus portrait photography. Yes, that's important then in, in that genre as well. But here, to create that three-dimensionality, to create a base, to not have those items be floating, that light placement and position and shadow placement position relative to camera become critical. Second thing we need to think about too from the portrait mindset to this commercial mindset, especially when we're in this tabletop thing, is depth of field. If I take this camera back to a parallel position, which remember most portraits I said are parallel. Camera to subject are close to parallel. You following me? So depth of field, you know how much is how much of the image is in, does appear to be sharp or in focus. That's our depth of field. Well, in portraits, most of it's most of the part that's going out of focus is going behind them. So if you have let's say an f4 to 5.6 and you're at portrait distance at 10 to 15 feet, whatever it may be, those aren't hard and fast rules. Those are just you know numbers to come up with for this example. If the face is in focus, chances are the body and the rest of it is in focus because we're parallel, because that depth of field is moving in a linear fashion across our subject. You following me? When we go to tabletop work and we start tilting down. So now when we've tilted our camera at a triangle position, right, or downward, non-parallel, we've created that triangle. So now the base of this item is farther from the camera than the top of this item, creating a depth of field that's not, go not only going this way behind the subject, it's going this way down the subject. You don't have that in portraiture because remember, we're parallel. Now we are no longer parallel. 